Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus in Philippi, together with the overseers and deacons, grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ.
so that now as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life.
things go with me, and I am confident in the Lord that I myself will come soon. But I think it is necessary to send back to you Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker and fellow soldier, who is also your messenger, whom you sent to take care of my needs. For he longs for all of you, and is distressed that you heard that he was ill. Indeed, he was ill and almost died, but God had mercy on him not on him only, but also on me. To spare me sorrow of one soul. Therefore I'm all the more eager to send him 
to you so that when you see him again, you may be glad and I may have less anxiety. Welcome him in the Lord with great joy and honor men like him, for he almost died for the work of Christ, risking his life to make up for the help that you could not give me. Finally, brothers, rejoice in the Lord. It is no trouble for me to write these same things to you again. And it is a safeguard for you. Watch out for those dogs, those men who do evil, those mutilators of the flesh. For it is we who are the circumcision. We who worship by the Spirit of God, who glory in Christ Jesus. Put no confidence in the flesh. Though I myself have reasons for such confidence. If anyone else thinks he has reasons to put confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews. In regard to the law, Pharisee. As to zeal, persecuting the church. As to legalistic righteousness, false. Oh, 
Thank you. 